Today, more than 11 billion de connected devices are producing some eight zettabytes of data per year. As more connected devices get added every day, this data will only continue to explode. In fact, by 2025, forecasts call for 80 billion devices, which is a tenfold increase, producing a staggering 180 zettabytes of data, which is a 22% increase. Industry-leading companies like Amazon and Google, American Express, Ford, Capital One, they're all early adopters of using data and analytics to secure their long-term competitive advantage. Failure to have a strong data and analytics program means that your competition will have a better understanding of their customers, more effective employees, and higher rates of customer acquisition, retention, and loyalty. That's why I'm excited to share with you three data analytic trends that are impacting organizations like yours. Hello, I'm Barton Goldenberg, president of ISM. I founded ISM 34 years ago to help organizations like yours acquire, retain, and grow your customer base. Trend number one in the data and analytics world, the rise of the chief developer data officer, or referred to as CDO. In fact, industry studies are showing now that Currently, about 60% of large enterprises have a chief data officer. Sometimes they call it a chief analytics officer. And that figure is expected to reach 80% by the year 2019. Through our 34 years of experience, one thing is clear. Data analytics cannot be the sole province of any one department like the IT department or the data analytics department. Successful chief data offices are partnering with other C-level executives from marketing or sales or service, finance, information systems to determine and achieve their business strategies. Data analytics trend number two. Analytics continues to accelerate innovation and disrupt entire industries. And as we know, the digital disruptors that came in like Amazon in the book industry or Uber in the taxi industry or Airbnb in the hotel industry, they've changed business models and disrupted entire industries. But so too have companies that have mastered their data and analytics. In fact, the pace of innovation and disruption of industries is accelerating and CEOs are asking themselves, they're being forced to ask themselves, what are the implications of data and analytics to our business model, our go-to market strategy, our portfolio mix, and our value proposition to the customer? These companies have developed a, what we call a data-driven, data and analytics strategy with clear linkage the business direction, business capabilities, so that they can stay ahead of the market and proactively compete based on the value add that data analytics can bring to them. Data analytics trend number three, the majority of data analytics projects, however, continue to fail. In fact, 85% of the data analytics projects fail, but really for two reasons. Number one, the failure may have nothing to do with the actual technology of data analytics, but rather to do with the process and the people buy-in to a data analytics program. And number two, few executives truly understand the impact of data across their business and various functions, despite the fact that the business executives must drive an effective data anal analytics program. I would argue that companies need to focus on where and how data can create value with measurable ROI, and through a comprehensive roadmap. Successful data analytics programs include a focus on organizational transformation, for example, business process enhancement, quick wins for the departments to see the value of a data analytics program, data management fundamentals that are complemented by advanced analytics. For more than three decades, ISM has helped organizations create and implement successful data analytics and customer intelligence projects. We would be honored to assist you in one of three ways help you structure your programs to have business leaders in charge of data and your data analytics efforts. Number two, ad advise your team on how to build a data-driven data and analytics strategy with a clear linkage to both business direction and business strategy. And number three, implement a program to focus on where and how data can create value using data analytics with measurable ROI and cr the creation of a comprehensive roadmap. Click on the link on the screen to take a brief survey to help you evaluate your data analytics program as it stands today and how that compares to the gold standard in data analytics programs. Thank you.